How to create a visualization in Demis. What is visualization? Visualization is representation of data in easy to understand means. For example, using graphs, charts, tables, etc. Visualizations therefore help us make sense of the data entered in Demis. Visualizations can be added to a dashboard. What we have here is the Tamli Tool dashboard that shows different indicators such as reporting rates, enrollment numbers, special needs, and more. This can help in planning and decision making. To create this, we utilize the Data Visualizer app to analyze the data entered. In the Apps menu, select the Data Visualizer app. The Data Visualizer has two sections, the Dimension section on the left and the Layout section on the right. In the Dimension section, choose the visualization type in the upper left corner. There are varieties of options to choose from, some of which include pivot table, column bar, and pie charts. For purposes of this video, select the column chart. To create a visualization, you need to be aware of the data, period, and organization units of interest. Data is what you would like to analyze. For example, enrollment period is time frame for which data was reported. An organization unit is the geographical level at which you would like to analyze data. For example, school, district, region. To select the data to be analyzed, click on data under the dimension panel. Select the data type, which could be any of the following indicators which are calculated values data elements are the raw values just as they were entered into demis data sets through which you can monitor the completed forms entered for this video we will use the total enrollment indicator to select it select data type indicators under indicator group Click the downward arrow to select the Group Tamli tool. You will now be able to see all indicators in that group. Either scroll through the list or search for the indicator by name at the top of the display window. Double click on the total enrollment indicator or select it and click on the single arrow pointing right to move it to the selected items section on the right of the display window. Click the hide button on the bottom right of the display window. To select the period, click on period in the dimension panel. The period last year will appear under the selected period on the right of the display window by default. Double click on it to deselect it. On the left, of the display window, two tabs will be displayed, relative periods and fixed periods. Relative periods are time frames that are relative to the current time period. For example, last year, this week, last five years, ETC. Fixed periods are time frames that are definite. For example, 2022, 1970, ETC. Select the period of interest. For this video, we shall use fixed periods. Select the period type. For example, years, months, weeks, ETC. For this video, select years. A list of the periods under the selected period type will be displayed. Double click on 2022 or select it and click on the single arrow pointing right to move it to the selected items section on the right of the display window. 
Click the hide button on the bottom right of the display window. To select the organization unit, click on organization unit. In the dimension panel, you will be presented with the organization units to which you have access. Be sure to deselect the organization unit, which is already ticked red by clicking on it. Select the organization unit of interest by clicking on it. To drill down to lower level organization units, click on the right pointing arrow next to the organization unit name. For this video, we will select Gulu DLG. Click the update button on the bottom right of the display window. There are also dynamic dimensions available as listed on the dimension panel on the left. This can be used to further disaggregate the data visualized. For this video, we shall disaggregate enrollment by term and sex. From the dimension panel, select school term and select the three terms by double clicking on each term name. Click the add to series button on the bottom right of the display window. From the dimension panel, select sex and select male and female by double clicking on each. Click the add to series button on the bottom right of the display window. In the layout area, you can change the layout of your chart by dragging and dropping a dimension. For this video, we shall drag sex to series, school term to category and period, organization unit and data to the filter. To save your chart, click file and select save. Enter the name and description of your chart and click save. To rename your chart, click file and select rename. Enter the new name you would like to give to your chart and then click save. To delete your chart, still you click file and select delete. You can also generate a link to your chart, a link you can share with other users so that they view your chart. Click file and select get link. Go ahead and copy the URL that opens in the browser's context menu. When you click on get link,